I've covered a lot of ways to get rid of choppy playback in DaVinci Resolve. I've put all those videos in a playlist that's linked below. And now with DaVinci Resolve 18, there's another way to get smooth playback. And I think this might be the quickest, easiest method I've taught yet. Let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about proxy files. I'm sure most of you know what these are already, but just in case you don't, proxy files are basically lower resolution copies of the original video files in your editing project that allow for smoother playback in your editing software. And for a long time, DaVinci Resolve had a sort of convoluted way of creating proxy files. In fact, they didn't even call them proxy files. They called it optimized media. And linking the optimized media files to the original files was, well, kind of annoying to be honest. But now with DaVinci Resolve 18, we have the proxy generator, which makes things a lot easier, a lot faster, and just a lot better. Now, the proxy generator isn't built into DaVinci Resolve. It's a separate application that gets installed when you install DaVinci Resolve 18. So if you haven't installed Resolve 18 yet, go do that then come back and watch this video. When you first open up the proxy generator, you'll be prompted to select a watch folder, which is the folder containing the media files you want to create proxies for. So you can just navigate to that folder, select it, and then click select folder. If you want to add another watch folder, simply click add at the bottom of the interface, then repeat the process. Next, we'll want to select the type of file you want your proxies to be. On Windows, you have the choice of H.264 half res 1080, H.264 1080, and H.265 1080. On Mac, you also have the option for ProRes. You can choose whatever format you'd like, but I will suggest using the half res 1080 if you're working with an underpowered computer. Once you've added all your watch folders and selected your file type, click start and the proxy generator will create proxy folders in all of your watch folders and start generating the proxy files. And the really cool thing about the proxy generator is that it maintains a constant connection with your watch folder. So if you add a new media file to the original folder, the proxy generator will create a new proxy file for that media without having to do anything which is super cool. Once you've created your proxies, you're free to open up Resolve, start a new project, and get to work. Now, proxies are really good for laying out your timeline, but not so good for doing VFX compositing or color grading. For that, you'll want the full resolution files. Luckily, it's super easy to switch between the two. All you have to do is click playback in the top menu, go to proxy handling, and then select prefer proxies or prefer camera originals. Easy peasy. Now, in most cases, creating proxies will help you get smooth playback in DaVinci Resolve. Most cases. But if you've created proxies already and you're still not getting smooth playback, that's okay. Just check out this video right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.